Hey sisters, are you ready to plan for a brand new month together? I am. So first things first, I just six hole punched my Glam May dashboard. And if you're new to Paper and Glam, we send out monthly dashboards, monthly planner dashboards with all of our orders. So then we have our May divider and I'm just loving how the Glam Planner dividers go so well with the dashboard because we use all the same colors. So it just looks really seamless and I love that. You guys know I love a uniform look. That's what we're all about here at Paper and Glam with our seasonal colors and our seasonal living and planning. So then we have our seasonal living list and I'm going to deck out this page first. So if you had a chance to check out our May Planner Collection unboxing, then you may remember we put this scene together. So we're gonna do the exact same thing in the Ring Bound Glam Planner. And we like to include lots of options for our planner. So we include two different sizes of headers in our Glam Monthly Headers bundle. So you can choose which one works for you. So this is the one from the EC, or it also fits a happy planner. And then this is the one for the GP. So let's create the same scene on our glam planner. All right, I like to put this bottom scene on first. So we will line it up. It goes right in this empty space right here. And then we will have a complete brunch scene. This food is so detailed that it's making me hungry. <laughs> so design goals. All right, and then I'm gonna put the top down, our toasting gals. Cheers to a glam spring. And cheers to all the mothers for Mother's Day. Oh, I didn't get it on straight, you guys, but it's pretty darn close. All right. And now the other side, and I'll just zoom in little more. All right, to the other side we have a hammock and some string lights. This was inspired by my home in Napa where we have a hammock hanging in these two trees that used to have a tree house in them growing up and uh, some patio chairs. All right, and now we have these scenes here on the bottom or these boxes on the bottom. I'm going to put this farmer's market looking scene down here because we figured maybe you are going to the farmer's market and then hosting a dinner party or brunch or friends over. So it's kind of a whole complete seasonal story. So we like to set the scene for our month and I know in, Den in Denver when I lived in Colorado I was super excited when farmer's market season came around and it usually started in May when it was reliably not snowing but there's never a time when it's reliably not snowing in Denver. <laughs> right Denver girls? The rest of the scene I'm gonna put over Mother's Day weekend right here. Alright and then this scene right here, I keep calling it a scene, I guess this is just a pattern box. <laughs> Let's see, where should I put it? I don't really have too much going on in May. April was bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, to quote the legend Miss Gwen Stefani. So I'll just put it here on the 15th because that's when Glam Mail ships, right? Subscribers, you know. And if you're just joining us, all of our subscriptions come in on the 8th and then we have them out by the 15th every month. So that sheet is done. And now I'm just gonna put on my date flags. So if you're like me and you have two planners, we created our Glam date flags to cover you since we provide one set of date dots in the monthly kit and then if you need extras for my multiple planner gals, that's why we created these flags. Another option too, because you know we like options, uh, is our summer date covers. We have date covers for every month of the year, so coordinating with that collection. And we also have fun seasonal ones here. So if you didn't want to use them to date your weeks, you could totally write in your weeks and then your weekly dates. And then you'd have these for a monthly layout if you want. All right, I am going to grab these May. I'm going to have to get my trusty tweezers because my nails make it a little bit hard to get these on straight. Okay, so our monthly is done in the ring bound and we're gonna set it aside and switch back to the EC, but this is how it will look going into the month. And let me zoom in a little bit. So yeah, 
I'm excited to live in May now. All right, I'm gonna finish up this sheet. So I already took the scenes off it down here and these fun pink dots, I'm gonna just put on the 8th and the 15th and you could put these on whatever is happening in your month that might be special or something that you don't want to forget or you wanna play it around. So that's that. And I like how these are just gonna flow into each other nicely. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, while I'm thinking of it too, um, a few of you have asked if I'm doing the Erin Condren review this year. I am, I'm going to the launch party on May 7th and wow, this will be maybe my seventh year doing the EC Planner review. So your girl wouldn't miss it, you know it. So all the details right here on probably May 8th. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing, apply the date dots and then we'll move back to the GP. All right, so here is May so far, and I'm actually not going to switch back to the GP just yet. I wanna do the Seasonal Glam Monthly, and the Seasonal Glam Monthly is something we put together for getting your seasonal celebrations on your monthly layout or maybe on your weekly if you don't want them to take up too much room. So these come in the monthly planner kit and these are monthly celebrations too. They're the same celebrations. And these of course are a little more decorative but they also take a little more room. So this is a good option. Mm -hmm. So off to the side here, I'm gonna go through our seasonal living list and put down my monthly celebrations. And we have scrapbooking day on the fourth, a high holiday. I got started in paper crafting through scrapbooking and I just have this innate desire to document my life and tell stories. And it's just a very native form of creativity, I guess, for me. So Cinco de Mayo here, and I'm just gonna cover the Cinco de Mayo that's on there. And then what else do we have? We have Mother's Day, and that's on the 12th. So I'll put that here right over the fun brunch pattern and then we have notebook day a high holiday I feel like I need to do a video on like 101 uses for your notebooks or something because I know we have so many laying around I know I do and I just don't use them the way I used to when I worked in an office or since I transitioned everything to Apple notes so if you guys have ideas for how to use notebooks I have been good though, you guys, I haven't bought any, but I have tons that need, they need some uses. So I need to just like do some brainstorming on that because Apple Notes runs so much of my life. And I know I've, I've had that on the books to do a video on, on how I use Apple Notes and really leverage it to work with Team Glam and a lot of other things. It's really changed my life. All right, so Memorial Day and we have Burger Day on the 28th. You guys doing anything fun for Memorial Day? I think I'm gonna go home to Napa, but we shall see. All right, and then Wine Day. Definitely belong in Napa Memorial Day weekend. It's Wine Day and it's Memorial Day. All very Napa High holidays. Okay, and let's see, I think that's everything that has an official date. So the rest are Pastel Manny Petty. I'm actually getting that tomorrow because I'm taking a little trip to Stagecoach. I just did a really fun glam festival plan with me if you haven't seen that. Peony bou Bouquet, we'll see when I get that. Summer decor, farmer's market, champagne brunch, take a hike, apricot treat. So those will be up and coming. And then I'm just gonna use these fun little flags for subscription day. I'm not gonna use the exclamation point. It's a little large and in charge. <laughs> I'm just gonna use these stars. Or you know what? Maybe we'll do pattern on pattern. Would that be fun? Let's do pattern on pattern. Let's do the little bows because the bows are too cute. I don't necessarily need an icon. I know what this is about. <laughs> Four years into gl doing glam mail. We know what it's about. Oh, let's mix them up though. Let's make them different because that would be fun. Let's do the floral. All right. And then I think I'm gonna use those patterned headers over teacher appreciation day. And see, sometimes there's like little things I wanna cover if I don't celebrate a particular holiday. So I like to use these fun pattern headers. 
So I'll use the floral down here. Or if you just have something special coming up that you want to mark too, that would be good. Okay, next I'm going to use some icon stickers to decorate just a little. So these icon stickers also come in the monthly planner kit and they're just small little guys. So we have uh, like a little brunch sticker right here. So maybe I'll use that for Mother's Day or you could use the flowers. You could use so many different ones, but keeping with our theme, I will use this little little brunch sticker, although it kind of blends in actually. So never mind. Mission aborted. <laughs> that one's actually like pretty decorated already. I think actually any of the any of those stickers are gonna blend right in. All right, so we have pizza party day. I'm gonna try to forgo my my weekly pizza indulgence until pizza party day, you guys. <laughs> Wish me luck. And notebook day. And let's see, Cinco de Mayo. We have a cute little pink sombrero right here. I'll just actually put it on the side here. And then burger day. And we have Memorial Day. I think that remember is really pretty. I might actually layer that remember on because I think that's really fun. Well, I know it's <laughs> it's a somber holiday, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. It's it's still some pretty layers. All right. You could also use it for like remember the dry cleaning or whatever. Okay, and then what else? Wine day. Can't forget that one. One of my favorites. <laughs> All right. So we'll do that and let's see, I'm going to kind of leave that up because I want to tuck a little header in underneath there. So let's see, should I use like this last polka dot one or should we use some other headers? So spoiler alert, these headers are gold foil next month. So are all of these. So for June, so you do not want to miss the June and July and on, we, it is on the house for subscribers. So if you're on the fence about subscribing, I would I would jump in and get your gold headers on PNG. All right, I'm going to use these polka dot headers underneath here. Oh, it went, it got pinned down on me. Let's see, I wanted to layer. I thought I was gonna be a ninja and be able to just tuck it under there, but no, it's not working. All right, plan B, we're gonna use just a, a shorter one. We'll use these. And that will fit just right, right here, if I can get it on straight. And then I like to do that right above the little calendar. And then I also like to use the day banners up here so let's see maybe some peonies would be cute right up here to start the month what do you guys use that sidebar for I know a lot of you like to use it for budgeting and stuff so I think that is a wrap on the monthly layout so we can move forward I'm gonna switch back to the GP all right, let's decorate some weeks. One of the things I love about the ring bound system is that you can take pages out and not have to worry about working around a coil. And if you're a type awesome like me, that's always nice because then you can get things on easily and straight. So for the first week of May, I'm gonna use these bow date covers and I'm gonna use matching washi on the bottom and I think that's gonna be really fun and really cohesive. So these just go right at the top. They will also work on your EC planner if you have an hourly or a vertical or a vertical glam planner. All right, and then there's that. We've gotten a few questions about why these aren't included in the subscription. And one reason is they don't work for every planner. So if you're a horizontal gal, they aren't quite gonna work. Um, because of that layout doesn't have the same day set up you guys want to know a fun fact our horizontal planner is our best-selling planner by far 
Isn't that interesting? I think that's so fun. That's so fun, especially since I really haven't played with it myself, um, you know, for you guys on, on camera. I am such a vertical slash, you know, hourly layout gal. My brain just will not work in horizontal, even though I have, I have tried. And I know a lot of you um, are just the opposite. And I think that's amazing. I love that there's so many options and every life is a little different and there's a planner for it. All right, so we have our date covers on, and then we're just gonna put on little teacups, or the teapot, excuse me. All right, so Monday the 29th, then we have a little outline here so you can line it up nice and straight, if that's important to you. And then we have the 30th. Of course, these are April 30th, but I'm gonna do all May colors here. And then the 31st. Oh, just kidding, there's 30 days in April. That was almost, almost a planning catastrophe. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have all had one of those moments before. All right, there is the first, and then a couple more here. All right, next I'm gonna take the matching washi, which is this bow washi. So we have this really beautiful beautiful top to bottom bow situation going. And our washi is currently sold out. We include it in the annual sale and it's actually one of our very best sellers. So um, it's open for pre-order if you, if you need your glam washi fix. All right, this layout's already looking so fun and springy. So I'm gonna add some focal points and I'm gonna turn to my big boxes and grab this Hello May sticker for the first day of May. And it also, you can't see because it's so tiny, but the dashboard has the same bow pattern on it and it's all the same colors. So we try to design, always keeping in mind that you guys are gonna be using all this stuff together. So it works and it coordinates. And also lots of you like to mix up vintage glam and fresh glam, which is also super fun. And we have all the vintage glam in the outlet if you um, wanna take a peek, especially if you miss the annual sale, there's always there's always seasonal glam at every point, price point. All right, so that's all the pre-decorating I like to do in my glam planner. So it's more of a memory planner for me, but I still like to go into the week with it nice and open. So that's that week. And oh my gosh. I just love how it all works together. I know I already said that four times, but <laughs> it never ceases to make me happy. Next we have Mother's Day week, and I am actually going to grab the Mother's Day box and design around it, similar to how we did the, um, the Hello May. So mom, you were right about everything. And I'm gonna put that here on Mother's Day. And I might actually, let's see, put it like a little bit further down and just use like a little bit less washi. Let's see. Let's see, what washi do we wanna use? What washi and date covers? I think I'm gonna use these um, polka dots, these blue polka dots, so, and maybe the, yeah, I think the blue polka dots and the plaid, I think that'd be fun. So I'm just gonna put that right here and go from there. You actually don't need to take the pages out if you don't want to. Um, so, we have our date covers. I'll leave them in and try. It's more when I'm writing sometimes, especially on this page, I like to take them out. So we have Sunday, and let me zoom in. How are you guys celebrating Mother's Day? I would love your ideas. I'm not sure I'm gonna be with Glam Mom because she actually is going to be in Vegas the week before. She got a super awesome deal staying at our favorite hotel in Vegas, which is the Cosmo. But I know there's a bunch of fun new ones that just opened up, like the uh, MGM Park, I think. Have any of you guys stayed there? I haven't been to Vegas since... We went for Jessica's glam anniversary, So that was May 2017. It was Stagecoach weekend, I think. So, Or maybe it was the weekend after, but I remember I didn't go to Stagecoach 2017. And it was Shania Twain. So sad. She was the gal who headlined. There's usually a gal headliner, but there's not that many actually female country artists that kind of have that headlining power for 100,000 people. So there's actually not this year, I think, for the first time. 
Okay, oh I didn't get Saturday on quite straight. Next I'm going to add my teapot dates. So we start on the 6th, and the 7th is the EC Parte, so I'm going to grab a sticker for that. So I'm actually, I think, going to use this scrapbooking day picture. could also do the For Love of Notebooks. One, two, let's see, but I think this one's going to match really well. Yes, it does. Okay, so we have, oh wait, it was the 7th, not the 8th. I have the 8th in my head, like, constantly. Uh, um, eight is my lucky number, you guys. Uh, Paper and Glam was started in 2008, and that's why we, we have the eighth of subscription day. All right, and I was born on the 18th, so <laughs> you see lots of 18s. Kind of like T-Swift and her 13. Yeah, it's like that. So I added some bow washi on the bottom, and I think that's about it. I am going to use some marquees here. I have these marquee stickers. They're also on Glam About Town, but I tend to burn through them. So we create signature offerings for things that we burn through really easily, or that you might need more than come on the monthly Glam About Town sheet. So I like to use these for like movies or any fun events. All right, so I think that's it. I love how the hourly isn't houred because then if you have an event that's kind of a big thing in your day, you can kind of really highlight it because I do the same things pretty much every day, right? I do orders, I do design, I do email, but that's not necessarily the things that I want to be like front and center for memories, as far as memories go. So I love the un unhoured hourly, but if you like hours, we actually have hourly stickers, they're gold foil, and they're coming out um, with the June collection. So that's a fun new addition to the Glam Planner line and they'll match really well with our dividers and all that good stuff. So I think the last thing I'm gonna do is maybe add some weekend banners. All right, so weekend banner options. We have two options. We have the ones that come in the May monthly kit, and then we also have our signature weekend banners. I love these for weeks that, like the week has a lot going on, or you have a lot going on design-wise, and you want just something a little bit simpler and, and plain. So I think actually I'm gonna use this TGIF while we got it here. I love this big bow TGIF, and it matches with my theme. <laughs> my theme of all of the bows for the first week of May, so. I'll put that there, and then weekend banners. So we have, probably use like this guy for brunch. We also have like the Cinco de Mayo looking weekend banner, which is kind of appropriate for this, but I don't know that it matches my vibe super well. <laughs> and this is kind of the Memorial Day weekend one. So that's a burger one. So, and then we have flower teapot. So I think just so my week doesn't get super busy and I can maintain this fun, pretty, pretty bow aesthetic. I'm gonna go with one of our signature banners, either the blue or the pink. I feel like we've kind of got a lot of blue, so I'm gonna go with the pink. Or should we go with, actually the blue might stand out a little better because it's so uniform with what we've got. Yeah, let's go blue. We got a welcome May in style with our, <laughs> with lots of May blue. This is actually called pool party blue, if you know the colors of uh, the paper and glam colors. So if, just for fun, so like January blue is snowflake blue and uh, the February color is glamantine pink. And then we have lucky green and then we have peep purple, pool party blue, Hollywood pink, um, Glamericana blue for July, paper and glam pink for August, um, Fashion Week teal for September, Glamoween orange for October, November is uh, uh, Napa Valley berry, and then uh, we have Santa suit red for Christmas. All right, that is fun. And then let's pick a weekend banner for this. And this is Mother's Day week, so I think I'm gonna use either the teapots or the the Mother's Day banner here, the brunch banner. It could be, you know, anything you want, but I think this has, this week doesn't have too much going on. So we'll put that, we'll put that on there. And oh, it was a little high, but that's okay. All right, so I think that's it as far as planning goes for the first couple weeks. We'll see how things come together. I think I'm gonna use the Glam Weekend um, weekly kit for one of these last couple weeks and yeah, we have three, or excuse me, five weeks in um, May, so that is uh, also a little a little difference. All right, on to the, ba or back to the ECLP. 
So when I'm using my EC or both planners, I like to just do the focal points first. So I'm going to use the Cinco de Mayo weekend banner on the weekend here and kind of build around that. I didn't do much Cinco de Mayo type stuff in the other, the other planner, so this will be fun. Then I'm going to use this bouquet to welcome May. And I already started seeing some peonies, which is exciting. I just wish they lasted longer. I know everybody loves them, but I love my my hardy roses. And I just like to switch it up with the peonies since they only bloom for a couple days and then they're gone. All right, so I like to use the This Week sticker underneath my, my little box sticker here. So we'll use this pink one right underneath and then move to the next week. This is Mother's Day week, so I'm going to use the brunch box here. So fun and springy. And then another this week sticker. See which one matches. Let's do blue. Okay. And then we have the next week. There's no major holidays or anything, so I'm going to be using this farmer's market sticker that I just love. Well, that one's really cute too, but um, I was thinking of this one where she's got her cute little bag. We made a dashboard out of this one. Lots of you have, we've sent it home, or if you want one, they are in the shop under plan planner and then planner dashboards. And then let's pick a coordinating header. Let's see, we need another pink this week. Should we use blue again? <laughs> I keep sleeping on the blue. Okay. All right, and then, all right, so yeah. I skipped ahead to Memorial Day because I wanted to use this box. And, oopsie. Sometimes I like to cover the hours, but I got a little too far. All right, so this is actually kind of the beginning of June. So we have a Memorial Day sticker there. And let's see, I think that will be it. I just wanted to get that one down. And I realized while I was um, picking out a sticker for this week that I forgot to put my book club stickers on. So we have a really fun read this month. So these are our book club stickers. And our book club planner kits are on sale. We made them part of the... <laughs> That Sunday you guys <laughs> um, we made them part of the annual sale but since we're just about like halfway through the year which is crazy um, they're gonna stay on sale so if you want to read along with us I would so love that it's always the last Thursday of the month for the most part unless any holidays pop up so we're reading rules of civility and then I also have a prep group that meets early for putting our evening together so I'm gonna grab some of the glam read stickers and put some fun stickers there. And if you haven't seen our Glam Read stickers, they're so fun and pretty and just have like these really fun seasonal reading um, scenes. So I like to use this sticker here for our prep group because it has like the book and a pen and it looks like, looks like we're getting things ready, which we are. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that there so I don't forget prep group. And yeah, I think that is Oh, sorry about that, you guys. If you're like, why don't you turn off your phone when you're filming? It's actually my gate ringing through, so it means somebody's here. And as you can see, Sunday knows. She's she's like, oh my gosh, someone's here. Let me go see who it is. <laughs> um, so I think that's pretty much it for this, what I'm going to do so far. I am such a plan as I go girl, but I do like to get a few things set up. 
just feels like a really long month coming up, but I'm really excited about that. I feel like March went by super fast and April super fast, but um, I don't know, May seems like a leisurely month. I didn't mention You Better Sweat, which came in our May planner kit this month. So it would be the perfect addition to a fitness planner or if you wanted to do a whole week or even a whole month fitness themed, we'll have to plan with it in another video. But it has such fun little sayings on it and also it's available a la carte too. All right, sisters, so with that, I think that's a wrap on our plan with me. The next planning video will be for our April <laughs> memories. So we're gonna put this page together and if you haven't seen a memory planning video, it's really fun. We just document our month. Here's March. We did together. And there's a whole series if you want to see how we do that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging with me. And um, if you would love some Glam May stickers, I would love to send them home to you. And I hope this gave you some fresh ideas for your planner. If so, um, give it a thumbs up on your way out. And thanks so much for spending a piece of your day with me.